a gorgeous sunny day in Great Falls, Montana. I'm here to meet Chad Manns. He's restoring a 1964 Chevy Impala SS for his dad, Jerry, who's the father of four, but technically I think it's five because this Impala was his dad's baby. Hasn't driven it in a really long time, so it's the perfect time to restore it and let his dad enjoy it now that he's in retirement. He bought it straight off the showroom floor back in 1964. The Impala is iconic especially in the 60s, with those stylized fins bigger than a boat, but absolutely beautiful. So let's go meet Chad and find out more. My dad, he was a very good dad. I learned, you know, fishing, you know, and hunting, camping with him. He did a lot for the family. He really did. Growing up, I knew his Impala meant so much to him. I mean, I know this car is like his world. So he really wanted to restore the car. But it was one thing that he just couldn't afford to do. And at this time, is you know, something we could help him with and kind of relive those years that he had that car and the memories, because he's 81 years old. And the years are ticking, that's for sure. But I just know he's done so much for me and the family. And it's just time that he gets something back. Thanks for having me to your beautiful house. Oh, my pleasure. Are you enjoying the Montana weather? The wind? Well, maybe the wind, not so much. <laughs> but the views of the mountains are gorgeous. You got some pictures for me, Chad? I do. I, I do. I want to see I Dad in his glory days. All right. This is probably where his love of cars started at. This was his first car. Oh, that's my God. A, your dad looks like James Dean. Yes. <laughs> Look at him sitting on the car like a cool cat with his sleeves rolled up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is cool. And then that's... Is that Mom? That's Mom. Oh, my gosh. Your dad had style. He did. He's a cool-looking cat. Still, He still is. He still is. <laughs> now, are these all the brothers and sisters? This is, yeah. This is us as kids. Oh, my gosh. That's you, the baby? I'm the baby, yeah. Oh. This and is then Dad? That's, yeah, that's Dad with all of us. So, Chad, was there a love of cars in the family? Yep. He had his first car, which was a 59 Impala. And he was going in to get a bolt fixed on the seat. And he ended up seeing this convertible with all these people around it. And he ended up going, that's mine. And he picked it up that day. Wait a minute. So he went in for a bolt on a 59 Impala yep. and walked out with a brand new 64 Impala. Yep, convertible. What do you think it was about the 64 Impala that made him buy it on the spot? I believe he fell in love with it. Wow. He's had it since day one and never could part with it. He bought it off the showroom floor. It was the showroom car. I think it'd be pretty cool to put it back on that same showroom floor. Yeah, that's exactly, that's what I'm thinking. So dad loved cruising around town with the top down? Cruising, yep. He drove it everywhere. And then the reason why it's still sitting there today is because my brother took the spark plug wires off for his Nova. And so I think that's why it's been parked there ever since. What year do you think Dad parked it? Uh, 87. He parked it in 1987 Seven. and he hasn't driven it since. No. Just sits in the garage and it's his baby, just mm -hmm. collecting dust. Collecting dust. Time goes on and right. you got other projects. And he's always wanted to try to get around to it, but it's just time, energy, and money, you yeah. know? Well, I don't know how you're feeling about this build, but it sounds like it's pretty special for you and the family. Absolutely. What do you think his reaction will be? I think he's going to be filled with so many different emotions. He's not used to receiving. He's normally the person always giving. And he's not going to know how to take that. No one's ever really done anything like that for him. Um, I think he told me once, he's like, well, if I die, you bury me in that car. <laughs> he wants to be buried in the car. <laughs> The 1964 Chevy Impala SS was Chevrolet's last entry in their popular line of full-size Chevys. Built for style and comfort and loaded with chrome trim, the Impala was top of the line. But it also packed plenty of muscle, offering buyers a choice of 250 or 300 horsepower for the 327 engine. The convertible model is a huge favorite among aficionados and people that just love to cruise. The 64 Impala SS is an automotive treasure and a true American-style icon. 
All right, you ready to go do this thing? Let's do it. Operation Impala SS Extraction in yeah, motion. baby. Today, Chad's enlisting the help of his friend, Kyle Coder. He's a car restoration expert. So together, the boys are gonna head over to Chad's dad's house, Jerry, and sneak that 1964 Chevy Impala SS convertible out of the garage, and hopefully, Jerry has no idea what they're up to. So I definitely have butterflies. Um, and I'm, I'm nervous for you uh, lying to your father. Yeah, I mean. it's, not, it's not good. Chad told his dad, Jerry, that they're gonna be storing the car at Kyle's shop so Chad could clean out his dad's garage because it's so cluttered. The car's been just sitting for so long. For 34 years. So they're gonna try to attempt to get the car out today. I think your dad's gonna be real suspicious. We just gotta be low key. We'll just get him help and moving stuff. And I'm just, when we get there, have your dad help you scoot some stuff around by the driver's door or the passenger, whichever would be easiest to get in. Yeah. And uh, I'll get her out of gear. And then push it out. Well, I'm anticipating flat tires. I think so. Let us pray. Yes, let us pray that Operation Impala SS is a go. All right there. Yeah. So we're just going to sit here tight and tell they're in position. All the cameras are in place and rolling. You're ready to go. Copy. All right, I'm going to go and lock the garage. All right, Get bud. this going. Jerry has no idea that he's going to be filmed, and he has no idea the surprise his son has in store for him. I thought there was supposed to be a car in here, man. If you come over here, you kind of see a car. Oh, boy. There's a part of it. <laughs> How are we going to do this? Um, you got a lifelong supply of everything here. I'm a little bit nervous about how easy it's going to come out of that garage. That's going to be interesting, right. moving stuff. That's getting all that stuff moved out of the way so we can get it out of there. Yeah, it's not like there were shelves around the car. I mean, the car is the shelf. Yes, it is the so. shelf. Hey, Deb. get that car out of there. I had time with uh, Kyle, so I'm getting the car. She's a beauty. Thank you. In 1987, I put her in the garage, and she stayed there. Never took it out. It's been in storage for a while. <laughs> Sweet little ride. And then through the years, I thought about fixing it up, but I never got around to it. Well, when you get your garage straightened out, <laughs> before we bring it back. It's my dream car. I think we can just push it out, Dad. Well, as we were pushing out the car, and it actually saw its first daylight in 34 years. Are we clear of the garage there? Not yet. You could see the beauty still in it, even though it was really dirty and dusty and full of stuff. I'm astounded at exactly how good a shape it, it's in. There we go. Well, is she as pretty as you remember? She's up. <laughs> I got a big cover for it at the warehouse. So it, we'll, we'll get it covered so birds ain't crapping on it or nothing weird. Thank you. Well, let's, let's move all this stuff. Well, I can do that. I got this, Dad. You just, you can go. Look at all the fun space now you get to be clean. <laughs> now it's time to get the Impala over to Kyle Shop Custom Body Company and really give this thing a once over to see exactly how big this restoration is going to be. Thanks, Dad. Now you can clean your garage. We got to go. 